Chad here with another travel or at-home workout from Kinetics. We'll go over our prep, sweat, and breathe portion today. Keep in mind, you'll have the ability to add load or resistance to some of these movements just based on what you have available. So if you have some dumbbells or kettlebells or exercise bands um, at home, you can utilize those tools. If you don't have any of those things and you find yourself frequently traveling for work or for pleasure, uh, we definitely recommend at a minimum investing in some bands. They're lightweight, they're inexpensive, easy to travel with. Okay? We include a set of bands in the Kinetics kit that we offer, which is a drawstring little duffel bag full of recovery tools and tools that you can use anywhere you go to keep yourself moving and exercising, building some strength uh, without it being heavy or cumbersome. So it's real easy to just throw in your suitcase on the go. But either way, we encourage you to make that investment uh, one way or another so you have those tools available if this is something you need to uh, utilize frequently. So looking at our prep portion today, we have three to four sets of one minute of a elbow plank walk, followed by eight to 10 reps of toe touch to squat, then eight to 10 reps of an alternating side plank. Lastly, we have eight to 10 reps of a sumo prisoner good morning. Let's take a look at each of these movements. For our elbow plank walk, we're gonna be in, an, in a plank on our forearms, okay? And we're walking, we're gonna step in opposition just like we would with a bear crawl. So when I pick up my left arm, I'm also gonna pick up my right foot. So staying in that nice solid plank position, and I'm traveling back and forth, okay? Forward and backward here, you have one minute. Based on the amount of space you have, obviously you can go for the whole time if you have sufficient space, um, but more than likely we'll have to go forward and then backward. You can even play around with lateral movement as well. Just make sure we stay braced through our belly throughout the entire movement. After a minute there, we'll come to our feet. We have eight to 10 reps of a toe touch to squat. So starting with your feet in a good squat position, we're gonna reach down, touch the toes, anchor our fingers underneath the toe, pull ourselves down into the bottom of our squat. From here, I can bring those arms up and stand, or I can come back up the same way I came down. Okay, either or is fine, feel free to mix it up. We have eight to 10 reps there. Once we're done, we're back to the floor, this time in a side plank. The alternating side plank means we're gonna roll from one forearm to the other. So it should look like this. <clears throat> nice bridge position. I'm gonna place that hand down, turn over, place that hand down, turn over. So it's smooth and controlled, I'm braced, through my obliques, I'm pushing my hips up towards the ceiling, okay, and I'm keeping my body in a nice straight line. Eight to 10 total reps there. Last movement, sumo prisoner good mornings. So sumo stance refers to our feet being in a nice wide stance. Prisoner position is my hand, so behind my head, as long as you're not cranking on your neck, if you find you have a hard time with that, just go ahead and slide those hands out so they're beside your ears. Okay, and from here, hinging at the hips, slight bend of the knees, and stand. Okay, you can certainly add some band tension to this, band around your traps and down around your feet. Okay, if you have some weight and you wanna load this on your second, third, fourth set, um, you can come out of that prisoner position and go ahead and hold a dumbbell or a kettlebell in that front loaded position as a variant. Once we're done with three to four sets of our prep work, we'll move on to our sweat piece. Four to six sets here. We have 12 to 15 reps per side of a chainsaw row, followed by eight to 10 prone IYTs, and then uh, eight, I'm sorry, five to 10 Hindu push-ups, and then lastly, eight to 10 alternating <coughs> supine toe touch. So let's take a look at the chainsaw row. For my chainsaw roll, I'm gonna demonstrate with a band. You can do this with a dumbbell or kettlebell. 
movement remains the same. I'm going to get into kind of a staggered stance here. I like to use my non-working arm, so in this case it would be my left arm, to anchor against my knee, inside of my knee. Feel a little bit of band tension. And from here as I row, I'm going to pull and I'm going to turn my torso. So I'm not only rowing, but I'm also turning my torso. So my chest will go from facing the floor to facing the wall. Okay. <clears throat> Same exact movement if I'm using dumbbells or kettlebells, and 12 to 15 reps per side. That prone IYT, if you have some really light weights, you can certainly hold on to those in your hand, but you don't really need anything here. In that prone position, so belly on the floor, I'm going to pick my hands up in an I, Y, T. Okay, so just so you guys can see, arms are going straight up, 45, out at a T. Okay, smooth and controlled here. Every time you complete each of those positions, that is one rep. Okay, I have eight to 10 of those. After that, we have five to 10 reps of a Hindu push-up. Okay, so starting myself up in this down dog position, I'm gonna lower and press. So almost like I'm sweeping from down dog, dropping the elbows, chest grazes the ground, and then I lift that chest up and reverse that movement back. Five to 10 reps there. Once we're done that, with that, we have eight to 10 reps of an alternating supine toe touch. So supine means you're laying on your back. So we're down onto our back, brace through our belly, and I'm just going to reach up, opposite hand to foot, for a total of eight to 10 reps. Smooth and controlled with that last movement. We're not trying to go through it as fast as possible. Okay, brace, make every movement intentional. Once you've completed four to six sets of our sweat piece, we'll move on to today's breathe section. Okay, we're gonna be spending five minutes in a saddle pose position. So if that position is really, really difficult for you and you can't settle in for five minutes of eyes closed, deep diaphragmatic breathing, where you're working on recovery and relaxation, find a, a position, a modified position in saddle pose that either works for you or swap it out completely to something that serves you better. But either way, don't skip this part. Spend those five minutes, close your eyes, deep belly breaths. If you can extend it to 10 or 15 and incorporate some mindfulness or meditation, we definitely encourage you to do so. Enjoy your workout and we'll see you next time.